myself jyoti kataria assistant professor in school of engineering and technology in kr mangalam university today we will discuss about the functions the functions of the python programming language python function is a block of statements that return the specific task the idea is to put some commonly or repeatedly done task together and make a function so that instead of writing the same code again and again for different inputs we can call these functions and reuse the code contained in it over and over the time period if we say what is the syntax of the function then the syntax of the function contained the keyword the function name and the parameters so the keyword is def d e f def the function name the function name can be anything whatever the user wants you can put any of the function name over there the parameters the parameters are also those phrases over here which you want to pass in your function those variables so inside this we'll simply use the statement inside the part we'll put the statements over here whichever the statements you want to execute you can put them in this portion also we can get the return value from the function as well at the same point of time so if we say that how many types of function are there then there will be two types of functions in this first of all let us see an example that if we want to run if we want to run a program in it then how we'll call the function how we'll define the function let us see that so we can do that with the help of the google colab colab you can simply open in the google platform over there and then simply write down google colab this type of a screen let us let me show you one for example i have written choose the google colab open it then like i have already created a file you can do that or you can also put a new notebook if you want to open a new notebook you can do it from here right now i am already having a collab with me it's already running so it will look somehow like this so if i have written a simple function that is a plain function that is def function colon sim after this i have written print welcome to the python class to print any to print any command or to print any function we can simply put them in the columns so over here i simply write down def function colon print welcome to python class so now if i want to run this particular program then it will not show me any output the reason the reason is because we have not used any kind of the print statement over here then it will not print anything right now i am only defining a function so that's why i have written def function print welcome to python class so this is just a function which i have created over here now if i want to let us see if i want to call a function in the program earlier i have defined a, pro, a, pro, a function in the program now i want to call a function in the program to call a function in the program what i have done i have simply called that function with fu and and the colons so the fu and the circular bracket this is the calling of any function inside the program so if i run this particular program then it will show me a output that welcome to python class so that is how we call first of all we create a function and then we call a particular function so for calling a python function after creating a function we can call it by using the name of the function followed by the parenthesis containing parameters of that particular function so as i have told you that calling a function with parameters if you have experience in c or c++ or java then you must be thinking about the return type of the function and the data type of the arguments that is possible in python as well so let us see an example for that so over here in this program we have just given see first of all that is just a hash after hash whatever you write that is just a arguments or basically these are not even the exactly the arguments they are just for your own understanding that what 
if you want to write a name that by which name I'll call this. So you can just define it over there. You can simply use the hash and write the name of your program. So that is for your understanding that will not come in the execution part. Now over here in this program, I have written def add num1 colon int num2 colon int. That means that I am taking two variables. One is the num1 that will be of integer type. I am taking num2 that again will be of integer type and the output will also come in the form of the integer. So that's why I have written this int over here. Then colon, this program I am writing for adding two numbers. So I am putting the addition basically the num1 and num2 addition will be recorded in num3. After this, I'll re I'm using return num3. Return num3, this num return num3 will return the value of whatever the value is inside the num3. So to call this particular program or to call this particular function, what I'm saying, the driver code in this, I'm saying, I'm first of all initializing the values of num1 and num2. The num1 comma num2 is equal to 5 comma 15. So, automatically it will take inside num1 the value 5 and inside num2 it will take the value 50. Then I am saying answer is equal to add num1 comma num2. So in this it is put the addition, it is calling the addition function, the add function which I have described over here, passing the values num1 and num2 and putting the whole answer, whatever the answer it is returning, it is just storing that answer inside ANS in this keyword in this variable. So after this I am printing the value of print the addition of num1 and num2 is and then the answer. So if I run this particular code then you can see that it is taking the addition of 5 and 15 is 20. So it is taking both the values as argument inside the function and then it is returning a integer value. That integer value is what the our answer over here. So arguments of a python function, basically if we see the arguments are those values which are passed inside the parenthesis of a function. A function can have any number of arguments separated by a comma over there. So let us take an example, we will create a simple function to check that whether the number passed as an argument to the function is even or odd. So let us see the function, uh, the program over here. In the Google Colab, I have simple, I have written a simple program in this, which is uh, the program is showing that, uh, it's checking basically that whether the argument whichever we have passed is odd or even like this. So what I have written is that def even odd, this is the name which I have given to my function and I'm passing an argument x. Then inside this I'm saying if x divided by 2 is equal to 0. That is if we are saying that how we basically generally how we can check that whether the number is odd or even. What we do is we simply divide it by 2. If the out it is completely divided by 2 and the output is 0 that there is no remainder then we say that the number is even. If the remainder is coming the remainder is coming as a 1 then we say that this number is odd. So this is the same concept we are checking over here. So we are checking that whether the number whichever I have provided divided by 2 is equal to 0, then we will simply print that the number is even or otherwise else we will say that the print the number is odd. So in this program I have simply called the even odd function and passed an argument 2. So when we run this particular program, then we can see that the output is even. That is the 2 is a even number. Now let us see one more code over here. In this code, I have passed, this is the same code which is running over there. The same code and in this I have passed the value 5. This is my another argument. So if we divide 5 divided by 2, does it come to equal to 0? The remainder, no. The remainder is not equal to 0. So in that case, that means that it, sh it's, it is a odd number. So if we run this particular program, then it is showing that the output is odd. So as I say that the function is used to carry out a specific task, there are two types of functions in the Python programming language. The first one is the user defined functions. 
So user defined function are those type of functions that are defined by the user to perform any specific task on their own choices. The second type is the built in functions. These are the predefined functions in the Python. Means built in functions are those functions that are already defined in Python. Uh, a user just has to remember the name and the parameter of the particular function. Since these functions are predefined functions, so there is no need to define them again. So let us take an example for the same as well. First take an example for the built in functions. In this I am saying, I am just passing a list inside that in the A that is 2519743. I am just passing few numbers as a list in A. Then I am printing that print the length of the string is. What is the length till what is the length of this particular string? And then over here I am using len function. This is a predefined built in function. So length and in arguments I am passing A whatever where I have stored the list. Then again I am printing what is the maximum number in the list. Over here I am passing max as I am using max as a function and passing A as the argument to the function. Then I am writing print what is the type of the function. Then the type is the function and A is the argument. If I run this particular program then you can see the length of the string is 5 that means there are 5 numbers in that particular string. Then what which number is the maximum? So irrespective of writing the whole program to calculate the maximum I have simply used a max function. So among 2, 5, 19, 7, 43 by himself he took out that the 43 is the highest or 43 is the maximum value. Then from the other one the type A it is, show, it is showing that the type is of the list. The type which I have used over here the form in which I have stored is the list type. So like this we can use the built in functions. Let us see one more code which is showing the user defined functions. So in the user defined functions I have defined a function by myself. I have given a name to the function by myself and as we know the syntax the syntax is very clear def 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 that is the keyword then the function name then in parenthesis we pass the arguments. So over here I have written def sub this sub name is given by me that is of my choice then in the arguments I am passing two variables x and y variable. So in this function I am returning that simply return me the subtraction the, the minus part. So x minus y just return me the output of that I am not storing it anywhere I am just taking out the output. So when I print, when I am calling this function in the print command, I am writing sub and over here I am passing both the variables 5 and 2 for x and y variable. If we run this particular program, then we can see the output is 3 that is 5 minus 2 is the 3. So he is simply showing me the output of the program. So as we say that the user defined functions, these functions are defined by our programmer to perform any specific task or to reduce the complexity of big problems and use that function according to their need. So that was the example which I have told you about the user defined functions as well. So these are some of the built in functions if we say that a few built in functions which are those so this is the length abs length is used to calculate the length then abs is used to return the absolute value of a number max function is used to calculate the maximum value among the particular string min is used to calculate the minimum value sum is used to calculate the sum of all those variables which I have passed type is used to return the type of a python object which we have used help executes the python built in interactive help console it will create then input it will allow the user to give the input format it will format a specified value bool it returns the boolean value of an object so these are some of the built in functions which we can use inside our program
Now, if we talk about the Python scope of variables, then in that the variables are the basically the containers for storing a data values. As we all know that they are used to store some sort of the data values. Now, we talk about the types of the variables. So, there are two types of the variables. One is the global and the second one is the local variables. So, global variables are those which are defined inside any function and have a global scope. Whereas, the local variables if we talk about then these are those variables which are defined inside a function and its scope is limited to that function only. In other words, we can say that local variables are accessible only inside the function. So, there are two types of variables, global and local variables. So, global variables are those which are not defined inside any function and have a global scope. Whereas, local variables are those variables which are defined inside a function and its scope is limited to that function only. In other words, we can say that local variables are accessible only inside the function in which it was initialized whereas the global variables are accessible throughout the program and inside every function. So, local variables are those which are initialized inside a function and belong only to that particular function. It cannot be accessed anywhere outside the boundary of the function. Let us see how to, uh, how to use a global variable. Then in that case, uh, let us take an example over here. The define, that is the def, first of all we are using, uh, we are creating a function def f. Inside the def I am using, I am printing a value variable a only. Now, I am saying that when I am calling the function, so first of all, I need to define that variable. So, over here, I defined that a is equal to Python programming. So, this a is a global variable over here. So, inside a, I have passed a string that is the Python programming. Now, when I call the function f, then calling the function f is saying that simply print the variable a. It is saying print a. So, that means it should print the variable, the value of the variable a. So, when we run this particular program, it is showing that the python programming. It is printing whatever is stored inside a variable and the value which is stored is python programming. So, it, it has shown me that particular string. Now, suppose a variable with the same name is defined inside the scope of a function as well then it will print the value given inside the function only and not the global variable global value so the variable a is defined as the string python programming before we call the function f the only statement in f function is the print a statement as there is no local a the value from global a is will be used over here so the question is that what will happen if we change the value of a, a value of basically a inside of the function f will it affect the global a as well so let us see that how it will work See, in this function, what I, in this program, what I have done is that is simply defined a function f. I am printing inside that function, what I am doing, I am printing the value of a variable. Now, over here, as I said that a is a python programming, inside a the string is python programming and I am calling the function. So, this whole program was showing me the python programming. Now, in the similar one, if I am saying that define function f inside that function i am saying the value of the variable a is with examples fine i am passing the string with examples in this function only i am printing the value of a variable before that if i am when i am just defining my whole program so in the program i am saying that a inside a kindly pass the value python programming so it is python programming uh, that means the python programming is assigned to variable a then I am calling the function f and after this I am printing the value a. So, when I am calling the function f first of all it will come over here in the 
define in the def f that is where the function description mentioned so first of all it will come over here and it will initialize the a with examples fine so with example is put inside a variable and after this it will print the value of a so when i am running this command and running this particular program so the first thing it is showing is with examples why it is showing with examples because in sub when i call the particular function then inside the function the a is initialized with with examples string and when i print the value of the variable a then it is showing with examples after coming out from that particular function when this part is done when it comes out then it will print it will execute the line print a now for this print a this a is nothing but this a is a global variable so global variable is this a is equal to python programming this is my global code over here the variable a inside the variable a the global so this a is my global variable that is the python programming so that's why when i write print a it will simply it will simply show python programming so that is how it make the difference that a global variable is that variable whose value remain the same whenever you want to access it but local variable are those variable whose value will remain contained inside the function of the particular program let us see one more code over here in this what i have done is that i have defined def function then print a the command inside a particular function then inside a i am passing the value with examples this is the value which i am passing inside this a variable and i am printing the value of that a variable over here this a is equal to python programming this is my global variable whereas this was my local variable so when i am just calling this function function f and i am saying then after calling the function f you have to just print the value of the a so how it will it will run it will just give me an error the error is saying that local variable a referenced before assignment that is that means that before assigning a variable i have used it so what is the problem that over here i have simply written that a is python programming and when i am calling the function over here define f then i am simply saying that the print variable a whereas variable a is not yet defined it is defined after the this particular after calling a function i am defining after calling a variable actually i am defining it but we should always define the variable in the starting before calling a particular variable so to resolve this problem what i can do is see in this what i have defined that this program is similar that a is equal to python programming this is my global variable i am calling the function f inside f i am saying that global a this global a is what that i am defining that the variable or the value of the global a will be used over here then i am saying that the print the value of a variable now it can say that yes the a is a global variable which you want to use which was defined earlier so in this when we run this particular program then it will show me first of all python programming so where does it come let us see how the flow works over here that first of all we have defined a is equal to python programming that means this is a global variable inside global variable i am passing a value python programming then i am calling the function f let us go to the function this is the definition of the function in this function i am saying that the global a that is you can use the global a variable over here then i am saying print a print a that means print the value of the a variable so over here it will print the value of a that was the global that is python programming so that's why it printed python programming over here then after printing that value i am saying now i am assigning my own value to a variable so i have assigned a value that is the with examples this is my own local variable value for this particular function so the value is a is equal to with examples now i am saying print the a variable when i call this particular command then it will print 
with examples only because now it is using the local variable it is not using the global variable now it is using the local variable so it is has printed with examples this function is done now again we came out then again i wrote down print a that is print the value of the a variable so again it will print the value with example the value which was last updated in that a variable was the with examples so it is again printing the value with examples so this was the program where we differentiate what is the difference between global variable and the local variable local variables are contained inside a particular function global variables run throughout the program but if we change the value of that uh, particular variable then it will remain changed so that was all the concept about the local and the global variables so that was all for the today's session let us meet again in the next session very soon and in that session we will continue it to forward and we'll see that how these things make changes and what are the resolutions for that